Hi, this is Dr. JMR, JMR Chemistry. Today I would like to explain about mole and mole related problems. Previous uh, videos I explained the triangle relation between mole, atoms, grams and liters. So if you will take mole, generally mole is nothing but Avogadro number 6.022 into 10 to the power of 23. So atoms or uh, molecules or ions etc. So what is the relation between grams and moles? Means if it is atom you take gram molecular weight or uh, gram if it is atom you take gram atomic weight. That is the relation. So, if you will take uh, what is the relation between volume and uh, mole means 22.4 liters of volume or 22,400 ml. This is the triangle relation. So, what is the relation between atoms and uh, volume means generally Avogadro number is equal to 22.4 liters or 22,400 ml. So gram atomic weight or gram molecular weight is equal to 22.4 liters or 22,400 ml. Means the respective gram atomic weight. Similarly, the relation between gram atomic weight, gram molecular weight is equals to our character number. So that is the triangle relation. So mole is the center point, so the relation between atoms, grams as well as volume, this is a triangle relation. Based on this, we will do some problems. We will go through the problem, first problem, the number of gram atoms present in 93 grams, 93 grams of phosphorus. So, here how we will do? Generally, gram atoms, gram atoms are nothing but uh, moles only. So, M O L E, mole. So, mole is equal to weight of the element, it is nothing but given weight by gram atomic weight because phosphorus is an atom, so that is why generally we will take gram atomic weight. So, given weight is given. That is 93 divided by gram atomic weight of phosphorus, you know, that is 31 because atomic number is 15 and uh, mass number is 31. <clears throat> so like this, given weight, that is 93 divided by 31, then here you will get a 3. So like this, weight by gram molecular weight or if it is atom gram atomic weight, that is equal to, you will get a or 3. So, 3 moles. Suppose if we we'll go through the next problem, the number of gram atoms present in 3.01 into 10 to the power of 23 atoms of carbon. This is carbon e is dash. So, how will calculate? So, this is given in atoms. So, gram atoms are nothing but uh, moles, you know. Gram atoms is equal to the number of atoms given, whatever it may be. 3.01 into 10 to the power of 23 given atoms divided by Avogadro number 6.022 into 10 to the power of 23. Then here you will get a uh, cancel, you will get 0 0.5 uh, moles. So it is nothing but what a mole is nothing but a, the number of atoms. So number of carbon atoms divided by number of carbon atoms divided by Avogadro number. Then here you will get a 0 0.5 moles. Similarly, the number of gram atoms uh, present in uh, 2.8 uh, liters is asking 2.8 liters of helium 
that is a helium gas uh, at STP is dash. How you calculate? You want gram atoms, gram atoms are nothing but water, moles, you know. So at this stage, the given volume, whatever it may be, so 2.8 divided by 22.4 liters. Then here you will get a weight, the volume given and 22.4 liters by because here the given value is in liters divided by gram means volume in liters then here you will get a 0 0.125 water moles like this you have to calculate so this is nothing but moles so gram atom is nothing but moles so mole is equal to so volume given volume divided by 22.4 liters then here you will get a 0 0.125 moles Similarly, what is the relation between mass and gram atoms? We'll see one by one. Suppose, suppose here problem is like this. The weight of iron present in a 0 0.5 gram atoms of Fe is dash so here you are going to calculate the mass then what is the relation it is very simple the mass or uh, gram weight is equals to uh, number of gram atoms number of gram atoms into gram atomic weight then how so here number of gram atoms it is given 0 0.5 then gram atomic weight of iron that is 56 you know atomic weight is uh, atomic number is 26 and atomic weight is 56 you know 56 then here you will by calculating you will get a uh, 28 grams so this is the relation so the given mass if you want to calculate the weight of uh, an element or molecule so number of gram atoms into gram atomic uh, weight so like that you can calculate easily Similarly, suppose for example, similarly, suppose the weight of, the weight of 1.05 into 10 to the power of 23 atoms of AGE silver. So how you will calculate? So is, atoms are given. So, generally the mass, that is nothing but weight of silver is equal to, it is nothing but given atoms 1.05 into 10 to the power of 23 divided by Avogadro number 2 to, why here atoms are given, so that is why you have to take Avogadro number then into the respective mass, respective mass, then you will get a 27 grams. So, if you want to calculate the mass of the respective atoms, the given atoms divided by Avogadro number into your silver mass is 108. So, like that you have to calculate. Suppose, similarly, suppose if you want to calculate the volume, weight of that gas, suppose the mass or the weight of uh, 5.6 liters of neon at STP standard temperature and pressure is dash how will calculate so the given weight is equal to 5.6 already I told the given volume so he divided by 22.4 liters into the mass mass why you want here weight that is nothing but mass you want so that is why so neon atomic number is 10 then mass is 20 so that is why here you will get a what a uh, five grams so like that you have to calculate so if <coughs> weight is given weight you are going to find out so given volume by 22.4 liters into the mass of uh, neon similarly suppose for example like this here suppose what is the relation between the number of atoms and uh, moles so here suppose for example the number of atoms suppose 
present in in a, here seven grams of nitrogen. Seven grams of nitrogen. So here is asking seven grams of nitrogen. So here number of atoms. You are going to calculate number of atoms is equal to given mass divided by if it is atom generally you have to take so nitrogen atom so if it is in molecule form then you have to take n2 if it is atomic form then you have to take n but uh, here if it is a di di nitrogen then you have to take 28 because nitrogen gas is always is in the form of diatomic so that is why you have to take n2 that is 28 because nitrogen atomic uh, uh, weight is 14 14 plus 14 then it is nothing but 28 into avocado number 6.022 into 10 to the power of 23 why because weight by gram molecular weight into you want number of atoms so that is why you have to calculate like this so, so here you will get answer Suppose similarly, if you want the number of atoms, suppose here the number of atoms present in 112 ml of helium at STP, standard temperature and pressure. So here you want number of atoms. So number of atom it is a monoatomic okay anyway. So the given volume that is 112 ml divided by volume is so here you have to take 22,400 ml because here the given uh, volume in ml so then you have to take in ml into 6.022 into 10 to the power of 23 because you want number of atoms so you have to multiply with the uh, water 6.022 into 10 to the power of 23. That is that nothing but you will get a 0 0.01 into 10 to the power of water 21 you will get by cancelling then you will get a, like the type of answer or suppose <coughs> for example the number of atoms number of atoms present in 0 0.3 gram atoms of uh, suppose sodium is how will calculate same similar type so here 0 0.3 so you want number of atoms number of atoms is equal to uh, 0 0.3 gram atoms is nothing but uh, moles so 0 0.3 you want number of atoms means you have to multiply with uh, 2 into 10 to the power of uh, 23 6.022 into 10 to the power of 23 means here similar type atoms means you have to multiply always uh, Avogadro number so whether it is a grams means weight by gram molecular weight if it is a volume then you take uh, the respective volume it is ml means 22,400 ml if it is a liters then you take a liter 22.4 liters so if it is a gram atom is nothing but moles then you have to take a water 0 0.3 multiply with our control number suppose similarly <coughs> similarly here weight the relation between weight and the respect to gram molecular weight how the relation similarly for example suppose in these problems you are going to calculate the mass weight 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 then here gram moles are given it is nothing but this much grams so moles gram moles of uh, water so here this much liters and here molecules how we are going to calculate the mass is nothing but uh, here weight of uh, water weight of water how you are going to calculate so the number of moles into what you call 18 how you will get this 18 you know you have to calculate the molecular weight of water how means h2o that is 2 into hydrogen then here one 2 into atomic weight of hydrogen is 1 then here oxygen 1 into o means 1 into 16 then here you will get a 16 then total 18 so 18 is the uh, gram molecular weight of water so it is nothing but 0 0.2 into 18 grams then here you will get a 3.6 uh, grams of uh, water uh, mass of water similarly here uh, uh, 
1.12 liters of carbon dioxide at STP. How will calculate? So if you want uh, the mass or weight of the uh, ma mass of the gas means the given given mass that is 1.12 liters divided by generally go for standard temperature and pressure that is nothing but 22.4 liters so you want mass means you have to multiply with carbon dioxide molecular weight so carbon dioxide molecular weight is 1 into what's 12 then here nothing but 12 grams then 2 into oxygen 2 into then only 16 is equals to 32 then you will get a 44 grams similarly you have to multiply with the 44 grams so so here if you want to calculate convert into mass means you have to multiply with the respect to uh, gram molecular weight it's a molecule so that's why you have to take gram molecular weight similarly suppose the mass of uh, these molecules how we will calculate that is nothing but uh, the weight of uh, this uh, n2 molecules is nothing but uh, here the given uh, molecules is 6.022 into 10 to the power of 22 divided by Avogadro number 6.022 into 10 to the power of 23 into then you have to take mass of this uh, nitrogen that is 28 <coughs> because here nitrogen is 12 so 12 so, so nitrogen is 14 14 plus 14 then uh, is nothing but 28 so like this you have to calculate this is the relation between how to calculate the mass uh, if uh, moles is given if uh, volume is given if uh, atoms are given so how you are going to calculate the uh, mass of this uh, uh, respective uh, substances similarly suppose for example similarly suppose if you want to calculate the volume here if you want to go going to calculate the volume here grams are given so here volume then here number of moles are given here molecules are given how you are going to calculate suppose here 7 grams of nitrogen is given you are going to calculate the volume then how the volume is equal to uh, the given weight that is 7 grams divided by molecular weight is you know nitrogen that is 28 then here volume means always you have to multiply with 22.4 liters so here you will get 5.6 liters so like this here means so you have to multiply with 22.4 liters because you are convert into number of moles so given weight divided by molecular weight if mass is given into 22.4 liters of volume similarly suppose here moles is given so moles means direct if you want to calculate the volume so you know one mole is equals to 22.4 liters similarly 0.3 into 22.4 liters of volume then here you will get uh, by multiplying then here you will get 0 0.672 liters so if you want to take in ml so if you multiply with the ml then here you will get 672 ml so anyway so like that you will get the respect to answer suppose number of molecules are given how you will calculate so the given molecules so if you want to calculate the volume then here given molecules that is 0 0.01 into 10 to the power of 22 divided by Avogadro number 6.022 into 10 to the power of 23 then multiply with 22.4 liters why you have to convert into what a volume in liters then here you will get a 1.12 liters so like this here you have to convert so you are going to calculate the volume occupied by a gas at STP. So here given mass divided by gram molecular weight into 22.4 liters. If moles are given, moles into 22.4 liters. Then uh, here molecules are given. Then given molecules divided by Avogadro number into 22.4 liters. So finally, uh, finally I would like to tell that is mole is equal to what Avogadro number you have to take 6.022 into 10 to the power of uh, 23 atoms or molecules suppose if you want in grams so gram molecular weight or gram atomic weight so here if it is in liters so 22.4 liters this is only for gases are 22,400 ml so this is a triangle relation so here I'll explain some more problems in a next uh, video so please subscribe share and uh, here want uh, and if you want any video so definitely i'll upload thank you this is dr jmr jmr chemistry